So now, for this video, I just got these uh, twin ferrule connectors there. I got about a hundred of them. You just put uh, 16 gauge wire in there, two of them for uh, this one. And here is ones I've had for a while now. Came in a kit, a bunch of different sizes. But in any case, this is also a, a 16 gauge ferrule right there for a 16 gauge stranded wire. And you can see it's quite a bit smaller, which makes sense because this one you put uh, two of them into them. And I like uh, these because they fit in a lot of the screw down terminals that I have right there. Since that one is that much larger, I'm doubting it will fit in there. Um, looks like it should fit into uh, these. I raised the screws. I think it's on the left side there. Looking through camera, kind of hard to tell. So we can get it in there when it's not crimped. I'm guessing it will fit just as good when it's crimped. And I don't think uh, these little spring released ones, I don't know if I will be able to get them into those or not. Of the six colors of 16 gauge wire that I have, this does lock in place as well. So I'll hold that, push it forward. Now I can open it up. We have, somebody did get upset once that I didn't notice, or that I didn't mention, I mean, that you can lock this into place. Close it shut. But in any case, we're just going to cut just some random lengths of wire. I don't have any project or anything I want to do other than this. So we're just going to use some white that I may never ever use again. And now we will just strip uh, one of the ends there. So we don't need all that. Actually, okay, yeah. That's as far forward as the tongue will go. We'll have a little bit of wire probably sticking out if I do the full length. So I'll come back a little bit right there. And when you insert the wire into the ferrule, the uh, plastic on this insulation is wide enough to keep it from going in any further. Let's add a little bit more. There we go. But it's that simple. So now it helps to give like a slight twist right there. You don't really want to uh, twist it up uh, tightly, but uh, just a little bit so that the strands stay together a little bit better than they would um, because they can get knocked out of place pretty easy. And we just uh, insert that one. That one's not going in as easy. There we go. As before I had to re-shoot uh, this because the camera went all blurry unfortunately. So now let's uh, put this in and uh, let's try giving it a twist, see how well that goes in. And uh, doesn't want to go in as well. So again, this is my first time doing this. So let's uh, try holding them together like that. Now let's see how we do. Try twisting the ferrule. There we go. That actually, uh, that actually worked. All right, so now I got the uh, ratcheting ferrule tool right there, and I think we hold it that way. We just have to insert this, and I don't know that I don't think this makes a perfectly square shape. Ratchet it down right there. This adjusts to uh, whatever size ferrule you put into it within its limits. Um, but uh, there we go. Now we got it crimped. So now I didn't think that these would fit in here, and. Uh, so I did actually have it in there a little bit earlier. I don't think, uh, yeah, trying to turn this one is not uh, kind of snapping into place. The smaller one I was able to, but it looks like you can kind of bend the metal. So this was kind of at a cockeyed angle before, and uh, now I can kind of turn it a little bit so that it's actually up and down right there. And it looks like the wires, okay, I thought the wire was coming loose, but it's actually pulling the ferrule out right now. So yeah, it looks like they're in there pretty solid. So now let's give this screw terminal a try. I haven't uh, tested this one out. And uh, yeah, that looks like that one is not going to work right there. So no big surprise. Uh, this is a 16 gauge right there, but it's a single one. Looks like that is as large as you're gonna get into these. So now these little squeeze connectors there, they have a couple uh, pieces of plastic on the side right there that makes it narrower in there and I was actually able to get this in but I don't want to again because uh, when you release it it uh, grips pretty tightly and maybe I got to turn to the side right there but I did get that in there I was about to get it again but I want to push it there we go I really don't want to do that because now I'm not sure how hard it'll be to get out but uh, yeah you can definitely uh, get those in if you really try and finally this one there is a uh, a little bit extra space right there that still slides in pretty easy after we crimped it and that would screw right down onto the box shape pretty easily again this metal part um 
if I don't like how it's lined up it looks like uh, once I have it like clamped down or whatever I can just twist the plastic a little bit and it will take the new shape pretty nicely